you have the capital and you're interested in investing in real estate, it's definitely a great time to start investing in real estate. However, with the interest rates so high and with values of homes so high, it is harder to cover with, with the rent that you're charging, which might require a higher down payment or something like that. Because the rental market is what it is. You can't really control it. But it doesn't mean it's a it's a bad idea, right? Because even if you are breaking even or taking a slight loss, the plan is that equity will grow. You know, rents do grow over time. So within a year or two, you could be profitable on it and again still be looking back. So for some people, it's always the exact right time to be investing in real estate. And for some people, it is not the right time to be investing in real estate. You just gotta evaluate your financial situation and your energy situation, because you know, this does take some work and seeing if it's the right time for you to do it. But making sure you've got the right person that's gonna help guide you through it, to help you, because it's still your risk, baby. So you want the right advice, but you also want enough information so you can make the right decisions for yourself. I'm always talking to my clients who have invested in properties and talking about the improvements that they're making, what their goals are for it, whether it's a long-term rental. I've had some clients not like the Airbnb route, but what they found is doing a furnished rental that they rent for three to six months is the right way to go. It takes a little bit more on the management side because you have so many people in and out of there, but you get to charge more because it's furnished in a short term. So you get traveling nurses or traveling people, you know, traveling with their executive companies and just, they want a more of a home to live in rather than just a hotel room while they're here.